Hey everybody, welcome back to Ask Lex Rx. I'm Dr. Lexi, a clinical and functional medicine pharmacist at River City Pharmacy in Decatur. So um, I have a bunch of patients who have been asking me about their medications called Prilosec or Nexium. Um, and I thought this was a great question. It, are you like, are, what's the big hype with them? Um, so I'd like to go over what they are, what they do, what they're used for, and what the problem is, hey Raina, with possibly taking them for too long. So, um, Prilosec and Nexium are part of a drug class called PPIs, or proton pump inhibitors, and what those do is they block the proton pump in your stomach. Hey Doug, and um, so they prevent the, your body from be, basically being able to make stomach acid, which is great short term if you're wanting to, say, treat some really bad um, acid reflux or GERD, or if you've got some erosion of the esophagus, these are great, great medications for that. The problem is, is they weren't really meant to be taken more than eight weeks. Hey, Miss Marsha. And so, a lot of patients are actually on these for years and years and years, and the where this gets to be an issue is with your digestion. So your body was made to need stomach acid to break down its food and absorb nutrients. So especially protein, your body cannot break down protein without stomach acid. And... Um, then there are several different nutrients that depending upon the pH, which is dependent completely upon how much stomach acid is there, they can't get absorbed if it's too high, um, which would mean the pH is too high, which would mean you don't have much stomach acid. Sorry, this is getting really technical today, but I thought you guys needed to know this stuff. So uh, what happens after that, you know, if you if you have that for a long, long time, then those nutrients that you can't absorb, you're gonna be really low on. And that's where there's a connection between these medications and osteoporosis because calcium and um, I believe potassium are two of the nutrients that you are, need stomach acid to be absorbed. So um, going along those lines as well, uh, if the pHs are off, then gut bacteria can grow in areas it's not supposed to. And that alters your gut flora, and y'all know I have a whole soapbox on that, but um, that means that you can have bacteria that are growing where they're not supposed to, and they can cause issues. Um, so these are actually pretty dirty drugs if you take them how you're not supposed to. So um, if you have been on one of these medications for years and years and years, I would encourage you to talk to your doctor um, or if you would like some more information, I've got some on you know how to best fix the original problem. It's root cause medicine, right? Hey, Chad. And um, then possibly maybe come off of it. it. You do have to taper slowly, but we've got a whole protocol um, so if you guys have questions about this, this is a big topic um, in functional medicine. So feel free to reach out. You can call, email, direct message. Um, I am here to answer your questions. So I will see you guys next week. Everyone have a very happy new year and I hope you all had a Merry Christmas. I will see you guys next week. Bye.